to the Real Estate Scripts Podcast, the show that helps you know what to say when you're talking to buyers and sellers so that you can close more deals and earn more money. I'm Darren Tunstall, a real estate professional, coach, and number one best-selling author. Let's get into this. Before we begin today's episode, I want to clarify some important points. I am a licensed real estate agent and my DRE number is 01853445. It's crucial to note that this podcast operates independently of my affiliation with Keller Williams Realty and any realtor associations. My primary goal with this podcast is to provide you, our listeners, with valuable information, insights, and practical tools. As a reminder, the purpose of scripts and dialogues is to come, learn, practice, and be prepared to fail forward. This is where we make mistakes and help each other out, but we're mostly interested in seeing how we can get better. First, we read through the script word for word, and then we go back and put it into our own natural tone, style, and phrasing. You won't know what to say until you go through the script. So with that said, many people will say, that's not how I sound, and I totally get it. That's not how you sound. But that is the reason why we practice every day so that the script becomes you and in your own voice. So read it word for word first, then go back and put it into your own natural tone, style, and phrasing. And I think it'll work out. Uh, it's good because, you know, you know, these are things you could potentially experience out there in the real world. And having heard it at least once before, it makes you feel so much more prepared because at least you have something to reference in your mind. Um and maybe it even sparks to go learn something. So I'll go on YouTube and learn learn more stuff. Just whatever topic it is, whether it's the contracts or whether it's uh, like how to list yourself. I could put yourself out there and get listings. Like I just am consuming everything, <laughs> trying Good. to get all the conversations. Well, I mean, and that's exactly the goal here, which is to talk every single day, Monday through Friday, 52 weeks a year. Um, I mean, we have a couple breaks here and there for like some of the holidays. Um, but for the most part, we're here every day, 30 minutes. A day. Um, <laughs> I love it. But the more you hear it, the more you practice it, the more you see it, the more you're paired with other people, the, the better you're preparing yourself to have those conversations. Um, but yeah, it's the consistency of showing up every single day, every single day, you know, it gets a little redundant, right? But, you know, <laughs> like, any great athletes out there or business people out there, what do they do every single day consistently? They're, they're just, mm -hmm. you never see them in the gym, right? You don't see them blood, sweat, and tears and all that behind the scenes. You only see the polished version of, of what they do uh, and how they do it. Um, mm -hmm. it but it's, it's this stuff right here that matters. That's, that, this is what matters right here. This is the reps in the gym. These are the reps. That's before right. Before practice. Before the practice. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Before the practice. But we don't want to practice on our clients, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, we're talking about 1-0 buy downs, you know, from a lender perspective. These are conversations. I sat down with a lender, uh, just a little backstory about how this particular dialogue came up. I sat down with a lender and I said, give me five of your most popular conversations that are somewhat like objections it, that you're having with buyers and they described to me that these are what they are and this week actually if i go back and i look at it um yeah 10 buy down explanation in lender in, uh, introduction for home buyers uh, they talked about navigating high interest rates which we're all you know facing as well um, the Thursday call is, or conversation is about a buyer's guide to real estate credits. You know, these are questions that, and the last late was, you know, um, guiding through a high interest rate real estate market. Like these are the conversations that lenders are having with their buyers. And I thought, you know what, well, how can we have those conversations? And that's what we're going to do today. So I will go ahead. I'm curious before I set this up though. Has anybody here had conversations with buyers or their lender, for that matter, about the high interest rates or how to navigate that? That's kind of a loaded question because the answer right now should be yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right. So, good. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get this set up so we can get started. I, I like this conversation. Um, let me blow it up here. As I said, it is called 1.0 Buy Down Explanation in Lender Introduction from Home Buyers. The, in this scenario, you introduce the concept of a 1.0 Buy Down to a curious home buyer, providing clear explanations and facilitating a connection with their preferred lender for further exploration. Uh, the requirements are effective communication skills, expertise in mortgage options, strong lender connections, and a customer-focused approach. The intention is to help a home buyer understand the concept of a 1-0 buy-down and encourage them to discuss it further with your preferred lender for personalized financial guidance. It can also be their lender as well, okay? We don't want to lock them into one. You always want to give at least three um, and then also let them know that they're welcome to use whoever they want, but you need to be in touch with that person um, so that you can uh, communicate and structure and, and all that type of stuff. Uh, the offer properly. Um, I do want to make out a point here. We're not trying to turn anybody in here to a lender, right? We are not lenders. Unless you are, then that's fantastic. But we are not lenders. We are real estate agents. We're not attorneys. We're not financial advisors. We're none of that, right? We're just preparing ourselves to say, hey, you know, there are options out there. There are different programs out there, and one of which is this program called a 1 0 buy down. And there's different variations of a 1 0 buy down, too, by the way. So I just want you to be prepared to say, hey, you know, there's this thing out there. It's pretty cool. Here's kind of how it works. But I prefer that you go and talk to a lender about this a little bit more. Maybe it might work for you. So that's the, the purpose of this call today. So let's go ahead and break it. Any questions before I break us all out? All right, so if you get a breakout room, go ahead and click on it. Otherwise, stay here, and I will enable the waiting room. I'll bring you all back in about 20 minutes. And remember to practice it in your own words, tone, style, and phrasing as well. All right, so let's have you be the buyer. And Javier, let's have you restart this conversation. Stephanie will be your partner. All right, okay. bring, it, bring it back. Yeah. Hi there. Thanks for meeting with me today to talk about your home buying journey. I'm here to help you find the perfect home and answer any questions you may have. Have you found any properties you're interested in so far? Yes, I've I've been to a few open houses and they're some of them are so cute, but you know, I'm really worried about how to make it work financially. I just don't know what that looks like. I totally understand that. Buying a home is a big step and it's important to be comfortable with the financial side of things, the financial aspects. Have you heard of something called a 1-0 buy-down in your research? No. I mean, I've heard about buy-downs, but I have no idea what that is. That's perfectly okay. A 1-0 buy-down is a type of mortgage that can help you manage your payments in the first few years of home ownership. Basically, it's like a little financial boost for the start. Hmm. How does that work? What does that... Yeah. How does that work? What well, it's like this. With a regular mortgage, your interest rate is the same throughout the loan. But with a 1-0 buy-down, the lender gives you a bit of a discount on the interest rate in the beginning. For example, in the first year, you may pay less interest, which can make your monthly payments a bit lower and more manageable. Okay, so that's the first year. What happens after this? After the first year? Great question. After that first year, your interest rate goes back up to the regular rate, just like a typical mortgage. So it's like getting a little financial break in the beginning, and then things go back to normal. This can be especially useful if you expect your income to eat to increase in the future. Hmm. Um, well, how do I know if that is going to be something that works for me? I'd recommend sitting down with my preferred lender to get to get into the the essential details. They can give you a customized breakdown of how a 1-0 buy-down would work for your specific situation. It's important to make sure it aligns with your financial goals and your overall budget. Okay, thanks. Um, so you'll connect me with your preferred lender. I think that that's a great idea. Fantastic. I'll put you in touch with my preferred lender and we can schedule an appointment for you to discuss the 1-0 buy down in more detail. They'll be able to provide you with expert advice on the financial side of things. 
Thank you so much. I really appreciate all of your help with with this. This is huge. You're very welcome. I'm here to make your home buying experience as smooth as possible. So let me know if you have any more questions. I'm here for you every step of the way. Once we get once we have a good understanding of how much you will qualify for and the loan you decide to go with, then we can start looking at homes. Yay. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, great job. A little awkward because it's not in your own tone, style, and phrasing, right? Um, <laughs> Just a little bit. It, it's weird. I get it, you know. But that's the that's the point. It, eventually, you just you look you you do it. At, you use it as a guide. You listen mm -hmm. to someone else, and then we're going to have you do it again in your own words, right? Because you know yeah. we don't we don't need you sounding like me. We need you sounding like you. <laughs> yeah, All there right. was a couple a couple moments there where I was uh, my brain just switched right into what what I would say. Exactly. And that's yeah. what we want. We, we want. And, and I realize none of these sound like you. So you know, <laughs> you're on the right track. All right, Stephanie, let's have you be the agent and Javier, uh, you'll, you'll be the buyer. So when you're ready, Stephanie. Okay. Hi there. Thanks for meeting with me today to talk about your home buying journey. I'm here to help you find the perfect home and answer any questions you might have. Have you found any properties that you're interested in so far? Oh, oh, there's so many great properties out there. Yeah, there's there's a lot that there's a there's a handful that we're interested in. Um, but I'm I'm a little worried about the the money side of things. I totally understand that. Buying a home is a huge set, step. It's important to be comfortable with the financial aspects. Have you heard of something called a one o buy down in your research? Uh, no, I, that doesn't ring a bell. Uh, I don't I don't really know what that means. Okay. Um, a one a one o buy down is a type of mortgage that can help you manage your payments in the first few years of home ownership. Basically, it's like a little financial boost from the start. Okay, keep going. Well, it's like this: with a regular mortgage, your interest your interest rate is the same throughout the the time of the loan. But with a one o buy down, the lender gives you a little bit of a discount on the interest rate in the beginning. For example, in the first year, you might pay less interest, which can make your monthly payments a little bit lower and more manageable. Oh, okay. But what happens after that first year? That is a great question. After the first year, your interest rate goes back to the regular rate, just like a typical mortgage. So it's like getting a little financial break in the beginning, and then things go back to normal. This can be especially useful if you expect your income to increase in the future or if we expect interest rates to go down in time for you to refinance the loan into a smaller interest rate. Hmm. That Okay, that, that sounds like it could be an option, but I'm not sure. Well, I don't think I I know enough. yeah, absolutely. I'd recommend sitting down with my preferred lender and you guys can get into the essential details. Um they can give you a customized breakdown of how a one o buy down would work for your specific situation. And it's important to make sure that it aligns with your financial goals and your overall budget. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think that sounds like a great plan to meet up with your lender. Fantastic. I'll put you two in touch and we can schedule an appointment for you to discuss the one o buy down in more detail. They'll be able to provide you with an with expert advice on the financial side of things. That's awesome. Thank thank you for explaining that to me. That that's that's something new I, I want to consider now. Absolutely. You're so welcome. I'm here to make your home buying experience as smooth as possible. Let me know if you have any other questions. I'm here for you every step of the way. And once we have a good understanding of how much you will qualify for and the loan you decide to go with, then we can start looking at homes. There you go. Yay. All right. Now that we got the robot out of the way, <laughs> <laughs> let's go back and put it in our own words, in our own tone, style, and phrasing. All right. Mm -hmm. So use it as a guide. You know, if you have to fall back on it, go for it. It's up to you. But, you know, I highly encourage you put it in your own words. Okay. So when you're ready, Javier, okay. you can get started and whenever you're ready. Hi there. Uh Thanks for uh, meeting with me today to talk about your home buying journey and helping you find the perfect home. Um, I'd love to answer any questions that you may have about this. Uh, have you found any properties yet that you're that you're interested in or that you're 
you know, really liking? You know, there were there there was one property. It just went pending, but that's what kind of motivated me to start talking with an agent because I know I missed out on that one. Mm, yeah, totally. I mean, it, it's tough out there, uh, and buying home is is a big step. Uh, wait, sorry, I, I feel like I lost track of where I am. Oh, sorry, I forgot to are. say that I'm a little worried about <laughs> yeah. The okay, there you go. things. Yeah. Okay, but, but I don't know what the finances look like on, on how to buy a home. Uh, I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The the finances can be can be confusing and they can be tough. You can, but you can get creative. Um, so you know, I I totally understand how that can be be a challenge for you. Uh, have you have you heard of something called a one zero buy down at all? I haven't. I'm not really sure what that is or what you're talking about, honestly. That's 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 okay. Uh, so a one zero buy down is a type of mortgage that can help you manage your payments in the first few years of of owning your home. It's like it's like a little bit of a discount up up in the front, a little little financial boost to start. Okay. So, what does that mean exactly? Okay, so a little more detail. It's just imagine with your your regular mortgage, your your interest is the same throughout the entirety of the loan. But with a one zero buy down, the lender end up, ends up giving you a, a discount on the interest rate in the beginning. So, for example, the first year you might pay a little less interest, which can make your monthly payments a little bit lower and more manageable for you. So, tell me more. Like, what happens after the first? year well i mean exactly what you would expect the interest rate would go back to the regular rate uh just like a typical mortgage so think of it just like a little financial break in the beginning and then the things will go back to normal eventually you know this can be helpful especially if like you know you maybe have your money tied up right now or you expect a bit of a financial boost in the future okay Cool. That sounds that sounds really interesting. Um, I think it. Uh, uh, how how do I how do I find out if that's right for me? Well, um, I'd love to connect you with a with a professional. I can recommend you sit down with my preferred lender, and they can help iron out all those little details. They'll be able to give you a customized breakdown based on your financials and let you know exactly how this would work in your situation, pros and cons, everything you would need to know. Any questions about it, my my preferred lender's got you. Awesome. Okay, that sounds great. I'd love to meet up with them. Wonderful. I'll I'll put you in touch. Um I'll send you an email right after or tech I'll text it to you here right as soon as we're done. And then we'll get you situated. All right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help and explaining what a 1-0 buy-down was. I'd never heard of it before. You're welcome. I'm, I'm here not only to help you facilitate this process, but also educate you on the, on the, on the way. Cool. Thanks so awesome. much, Javier. All right. Looking forward to working with you. Me too. All right. There you go. All right. So there's 1-0, two ones. You know, and that's also another reason why we should be in uh, connection with our lenders also. Hey, what do the interest rates look like? What does it look like if they did take advantage of the 1-0 or the 2-1? In fact, I just, uh, I did reach out to um, one of the lenders that I work with before this. And I'm like, hey, you know, do you, number one, do you still do these? He's like, absolutely love them. Um, and I said, what's the difference between a 1-0 and a 2-1 right now? And he's like, well, the 2-1's interest rates are a little bit higher, so but I am a huge fan of the 1.0 right now because they're a little bit lower. Um, different programs for different people, and it just might work you know, if you're getting a raise maybe, or um, maybe they anticipate rates going down in a year and you can potentially you know, kind of ride the wave for the first year and then mm -hmm. jump in. Uh, you know, there's, there's different things for different people. So, all right, uh, Stephanie, let's have you be the agent, put it in your own words. Uh, we know that you all love doing that. So when you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Javier. Thank you so much for meeting we, with me today to talk about your home buying journey. 
Um, I am here to help in any way I can um, and answer any questions you have. So let me ask, do you, have you seen any homes on the market that you're interested in so far? Yeah, we've, we found some great ones, but, but some of the ones we really want are, we're, we're a little worried about the financial side of things. Absolutely. Buying a home is a huge step. It's really important to feel comfortable with your monthly payment and all of the financial aspects. Um, I sometimes, you know, if it's a big worry, I sometimes like to um, suggest something a little more creative, like a 1-0 buy down. Have you, um, do you know what that is? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think I've heard of that. Okay. Well, um, a 1-0 buy down is a type of mortgage that can help you manage your payments in the first few years of home ownership. Basically, a little financial boost from, for the start. Oh, okay. So how, how exactly does that work? So with a regular mortgage, your interest rate stays the same throughout the life of the loan, right? But when mm -hmm. a, with a one Oh buy down, the lender gives you a little bit of a discount on the interest rate in the beginning. For example, in the first year, you might pay less interest, which can make your monthly payments a little bit lower and more manageable. Okay. Uh, but, but what happens after that first year? That is a great question. After the first year, your interest rate just goes back to the normal rate that you would have signed for the loan, um, just like a typical mortgage. So it's like getting a little financial break in the beginning, and then it goes back to normal. This can be especially useful if you are about to get a promotion or an increase in your income um, in the future, or if we expect interest rates to go down. Um, you don't want to miss out on the opportunity to purchase a home while waiting for interest rates to go down. So this gives you an opportunity to maybe refinance in the future if that's what we're expecting. Hmm. That that sounds like something I might be interested. How how can I find out more about that? Well, I'd recommend that you sit down with my preferred lender. Um, and you two can get into all of the essential details. Um, he can give you a customized breakdown of how a one O works and what it would look like with your um with your specific situation um and go over all of the other loan options available to you i think that it's really important to make sure that it aligns with all of your goals um because it's important to really feel comfortable and solid going into purchasing a home with what your monthly payment is going to look like yeah totally thank you yeah that that That'll be super helpful. Awesome. So I'll put you two in touch um, in a group text and you guys can take it from there. And um, you two can schedule the appointment to discuss the 1-0 buy down in more detail. And they'll be able to provide you with all of the advice on the financial scene side of things. Great. Thank you. Yeah, that, that this is going to help us so much. And now we can have facilitate our search. Yes, absolutely. I'm here to make sure that your home buying experience is smooth and fun and easy once we get through the hard stuff. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here for you every step of the way. And once we have a good understanding of how much you you qualify for and which loan you decide to go with, then we have the green light to go and look at, a, look at the homes that meet your criteria. Awesome. Yay. Looking forward to working with yeah. you, Javier. You too. Awesome. Okay. Don't mind the guy that's on right now. We'll introduce him in a minute. <laughs> um, no, his name is Chuck. He's a lender. Uh, I brought him in here to have this quick discussion here. Oh, cool. uh, looks like looks like everybody is coming back. All right, mm -hmm. everybody. So I, I hope that went well for you. You know, the goal was to have alternatives. Um, we know that um, everybody has a choice in terms of well, most of the time we have a choice in terms of the type of loan that we're gonna go with, whether it's conventional, FHA, VA, um, you know, these 1-0 buy-downs, 2-1 buy-downs. There's all sorts of different types of loan programs out there. And, you know, to have to be prepared to have these conversations with our clients is super critical. Um, I brought somebody here today named Chuck Schmout. He's a lender with Nexa Mortgage. And um, I just kind of wanted- Hey! <laughs> Wendy. Okay. Uh, I muted you, Wendy. 
Um, <laughs> so if anybody have any, if anybody has any questions about a one Oh buy down or what these types of programs are all about, you know, Chuck is here, but I kind of wanted to get everybody's opinion about this and how, if you've had these types of conversations with your clients already. I have, um, actually with my sellers, uh, when properties are moving slower and interest rates are higher, it's an option that they can offer that to buyers uh, to help the buyer, you know, help move the property. Yeah, yeah. Now, are you doing that as a credit? Is that how you would uh, yeah. pitch it? Yeah, yeah. And I think Emily had that experience as well, right? Didn't when you bought yeah. your last house? Yeah, wasn't that the case? You bought it and they offered it as a credit or something? Uh yeah, they did it. I did it too. One, I was explaining that to Jasmine. And a two two one, I think, is good in case because I didn't know where I was if I was going to stay here or or not because I bought with my daughter, and I figured two one would be good because in two years when you're ready to sell, it's just a better option. Yeah. Hey Chuck, what is your what is your opinion on one zero buy downs, two one, all these different alternatives that we as agents can offer as alternatives uh, or not offer, but cause you're the doing the offering, but at least be a little bit prepared for that conversation. Like there's options out there. It's, I really like it. In fact, Aaron, it's, it was nice when you texted me this morning and said like, Hey, do you still do these? It's always nice to get a little uh, reminder. So basically four weeks ago, I was like five, seven, five on a 30 year fixed. And then in the last four weeks, we're back up to six and a half. So it's such a big, it's a big swing in a month, right? So Stephanie, you killed it. You look like it was just, this is just, you know, this is just easy stuff. This is just like, you're just kicking it out. And I'm going like, okay, this is, this is what uh, practice does, right? You just, it's just, this is just, this is me just talking. It's not, you're not selling. It's just, I was going like, okay, this is how it should be. Just easy. Um I know for me, I believe in the 2-1. I did a 2-1 before with a house that I bought. And especially the last two years, it's been really, really good. The thing that I like about it, a big part that I like about it, is if you get a $10,000 credit, and six months from now, Chuck calls and goes like, hey, we're down at five and a quarter, and you've only spent seven or eight grand, you get that extra two grand. That money doesn't go away. It's still your money. So they basically... Can either put it towards closing costs or basically also towards just uh buying down what you owe it's been tough to know it's been tough to know where rates are going so that's one of the things that i like about the one oh or the two one i like the two one just because it gives you a little more time um right now where we're at i keep hearing that we're going to go down in the next year and a half and i hope they're right for once, they've, they've kind of been a little bit off the mark in the last year and a half. So hopefully uh, we continue to go down. That would be, and that would help all of us anyway. Um, does anybody have any questions for Chuck uh, from a, to, to get his lender perspective on different types of programs? It doesn't have to be just one O. This was the dialogue for today, but any, any questions from a lender perspective? And by the way, it is 901. So if you have to leave, want to respect your time, you're welcome to do so. Um, and if anybody wants to talk to Chuck and further, I can give them your information or vice versa. So now Chuck, can you confirm for me that um, the buyer is qualified on the regular interest rate, not the buy down interest rate. So there's not sticker shock they can't afford later. Is that correct? Correct. You're hundred percent right, Barbara, which is obviously good because that 2% can be six you know in san diego it can be 600 to a thousand dollars more monthly on that payment so that's what you're saying you're not they can still afford it you hope they don't have to but they can afford it with interest rates where they are right now would you recommend somebody buying down a point or doing a buy down a temporary buy down i know buying down a point is more expensive um i would definitely do the I would do the buy down just because I feel like there's going to be, so I study rates and it's been kind of frustrating, but I pay a decent chunk of money every month to hear from people that are a lot smarter than me. Um, and I've had done it for like 20 years, but uh, 
I feel like spending that on the buy down, at least you get that money back if you do refinance. I did recently have a young man say like, hey, I think I just want to buy down. And when we looked at the numbers, the break even was about six or seven years. So I was kind of going like six or seven years of break even is a long, that's a long time for a break even. If I'm calling you a year from now and saying I'm at five. So I feel like, I feel like um, I would definitely go buy down. Okay. Nice. Very, a very, very two important questions, right? Good questions. Really <laughs> and, good I, and, questions. And, and I love the fact that like, because that, Barbara, you asked a great question too, which was, you know, making sure that they qualify for the rate that it would go up to, because otherwise we're just setting our clients up for failure. And exactly. we don't want to do that. <laughs> we don't want to repeat that old mistake. <laughs> no, exactly. We would be a part of the problem, right? That we had way back when. Yes. It's true. Anybody else have any questions for Chuck? I dropped his information into the uh, chat box just in case you want to grab that, copy it, and paste it. Um, he's been in the business for how long have you been a lender now for? 31. Holy yeah. Moses. Yeah. Since 1931. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking yeah. great, Chuck. <laughs> yeah. Darren knows my favorite saying I'm, I'm not old, I'm just no longer young. <laughs> 31 years have been in doing this. He's he's a wealth of knowledge. Um, he will uh, share. He's very, very giving in terms of the information that he knows. And, he, and I can tell you that I have used him personally a couple of times. Um, and I know people that have uh, that I have turned him over to. Um, he's good. Very, very, very good. So but uh, anyways, I just wanted to make sure that we all get a lender's perspective on these on this conversation today. So hopefully that helps a little bit and go out and use it. Now we have now we have I put this under the topic of objections because some people are saying, I can't afford it. Well, how do you know? Have you talked to a lender about that? There are multiple programs out there. Let me connect you with someone who can you know share more information. That's it. That's it. And from a seller's perspective, I love that you brought that up because you're talking to your sellers about that. It's not just for buyers. It's for sellers, especially now with the kind of a change, right, that we have. Especially now, we can ha have these conversations with our sellers from a completely different perspective. So, good. I love it. All right. Well, that's it for today. Um, th this whole week is going to be kind of like this, all about high interest rates buy downs, all these different types of, you know, objections that we're getting in this market. So good job, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Chuck. Thank you. Thank you, Chuck. All right. So that's the script. I hope that you found it useful. Just head over to realestatescriptspractice.com for more resources and downloads. This content is for educational purposes only and does not make any guarantees. We suggest you seek the help and or advice of your broker, coach, mentor, office manager, attorney, and or financial advisor. Brought to you by Darren Tunstall, a licensed real estate agent, DRE number 01853445. This content operates independently of Darren's affiliation with Keller Williams Realty and any realtor associations. The intention is to provide you with valuable information, insights, and practical tools. Please note that all results may vary and participants are responsible for their own actions.